Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to 1949. We have the Reds of the Giants here today. Final game of the day. And it's going to be Dave Coslow here for the uh, Giants going up against the Reds. Reds at 9-13. The Giants at 16-6. and And here's Danny Littweiler. And um, he takes a strike and fouls one back. 0-2 now the count on Littweiler. And that is called a ball that was close but uh, just missed. And uh, that's a little uh, uh, stay alive hack. Another foul ball, one and two the count. And uh, there's a little uh, line drive over to Lork, the second baseman. He has it for the out, one away. And here's Hank Sauer, takes a strike. And uh, fouls one off. Oh, and two the count now on Sauer. And boy, there's Gosselin with a big knuckleball. And uh, he has Sauer way off balance for strike three. Bobby Adams now. And there's uh, two straight strikes on him, oh, and two the count. And uh, one and two is that breaking ball missed. And there's one hit straight out to Thompson in center field for the out. We go to the bottom of the first, and here comes Willard Marshall against Ken Raffensberger. Um, there is a uh, ball on, on uh, Marshall, one and know the count. Raffensberger two and two on the season, 3.38 ERA. And there's a little comebacker to him, and he throws the first for the out, one away. Here is Sid Gordon. Now the Pirates, as you saw yet, uh, two days ago, lost. Um, two and know the count now on Gordon. And so if the Giants can win here, they're going to gain some ground. Two and one the count now, and that one's way too high. It's three and one on Gordon. And uh, there's a breaking ball up and in, ball four. It's one of those rare opportun- or rare chances where the Giants are rooting for the Dodgers to do something. And now with Gordon on at first base and Rigney up to bat, we're going to do a little hit and run. And uh, there's one hit over to right center field, and that's not what we wanted to see. It's a little while he makes the catch. Two away, and here's Walker Cooper, runner on first base still. There's a ball high to him, one and know the count. And there's a little chopper up the middle, and uh, it is Adams who makes the play, throws the first for the out, and we go to the top of the second. Here is Ted Klazuski, and he's uh, got a little hitting streak going for himself. Oh, and two, the count on him now. And uh, one and two is that one was just high. And boy, Costello had him way out in front of that one, and uh, it got a little bouncer over to Lork, the uh, second baseman, uh, for the uh, out. And uh, I've talked about this before. I'll talk about it again. When you talk about baseball in our current age, in the contemporary world, you see a lot of people who put a lot of uh, emphasis on things like uh, velocity of uh, pitches and stuff. And the truth is, while it is nice to be able to throw fast, what really will get guys out is being able to do stuff like that to get them to swing at pitches that they wouldn't otherwise swing at. And a uh, big thank you to uh, Diamond Mind Baseball, to Jack Wood, for having the play-by-play to uh, give us the story of that one. And uh, there are uh, two outs, uh, one out here, sorry, in the top of the six. And here is uh, Grady Hatton, who fouls one back. Oh, and won the count on Hatton. That's inside, and that's a strike. Oh, and two. There's a ball low. Only the fourth ball, fifth ball now thrown by Costco. Uh, Costco is it's two and two. Costco, I called him. You can tell where we're going this weekend. There's a little pop-up over to the right side. Lork has it for the out two away. And here's Johnny Wirostek. He takes a ball. One and know the count. There's a little ground ball over to Lork at second. Throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. Here's Whitey Lockman. There's a ball in there to Lockman. One and know is the count on him now. And there's a little base hit over left field. And Lockman um, hustles um, around and is able to get to second base as Hank Sauer fell down trying to field that one. That'll bring up Johnny Mize now. Runner at second base. Nobody out. And there's a uh, strike in the outside corner. Owen won the count. And uh, there's a ball. One and one now. The count on Johnny Mize. Swing and a miss on that one. It is one and two. And there's a swing and a miss, and uh, Raffensperger gets the strikeout, number 15 of the season. And here's Bobby Thompson. To, uh, he lays off of one high. Then he hits one deep, but not quite deep enough. And it's Wirostek in center field who grabs that one. Lockman moves to third. There's no way that Bobby Thompson's going to hit the ball over the center field um, uh, stands, I'll tell you that. Jack Lork takes a strike. And uh, there's a little chopper over the mound and behind second base. Adams goes and gets that one, and he just has no play on it. And it's a single for Lork, and uh, that makes it a one nothing ball game. Dave Coslow now. And uh, there's a breaking ball in there for a strike. Oh, and won the count. Count remains 0-1. There's a swing and a miss. It's 0-2. That's low and away. 1-2 and two now the count on Coslow, and he takes strike three on the corner, and we go to the top of the third. Dixie Howell is up there, and he takes a strike, and then hits a little fly ball over to Thompson center field for the first out. Here is Virgil Stalkup, and he fouls one back. 0-1 oh, and won the count now. And 1-1 uh, one and one is the count, and there's a little chopper over to first base, and boy, Stalkup runs over there and is able to beat Mize to the bag as he was trying to do it himself. That's an infield hit, first base hit for the Reds, and here is Ken Raffensberger, and he bunts one down there to the, uh, uh, was that the first base line? Um, yeah, no, third base line, and it was uh, Cooper who ran out from behind the crowd, grabbed that one, made the play over at first, but Stalkup moved over to second, and here's Danny Lipweiler with the chance. There's one low to him, 1-0 the count, and there's uh, it's a 2-0 count now on him. And there's a breaking ball in there for a strike two and one the count now. And there's strike two, two and two now on Littweiler. And he swings and misses at that one for strike three. We go to the bottom of the third, still one nothing Giants. And here's Willard Marshall again. He takes a ball. And there's a little fly ball down the right field line, just foul. One and one the count. 
There's a ground ball over to uh, Hatton, the uh, third baseman. Throws over to first base. It's into the dirt, but Klazuski makes a good play. One away here, said Gordon. And uh, t- he takes a ball. Want to know the count? That's fouled off. It's one and one. That's pop fouls. One and two count now on Gordon. And there's a ground ball through the hole into the right field for a base hit. And that'll bring up Bill Rigney, runner on first base. Only one out here, bottom of the third. And there's a ball in there to Rigney. And that's lying through first base and into right field. And uh, Gordon goes all the way to third. The Giants with something going here. And here comes Walker Cooper. We'll do a little hit and run again. And that's hit a ton. Just foul. And uh, there's a ball to him. One and one the count. Let's hit and run again. And that's fouled away. One and two the count now. And that's headed out of play. One and two remains. And there's a little pop-up over behind Klazuski. Um, and he goes and gets it for the out. Two away. And here's Whitey Lockman. Runners on first and third. And there's a ball in there, Lockman. There's another one high, 2-0 oh the count, and there's one that misses again. It's 3-0. and oh. There's a fastball in there for a strike, 3-1 and one the count now, and he hits one straight to Wirostek in center field. We go to the top of the fourth. Hank Sauer back up there, and he swings and misses a 1. That's a strike. There's a little ground ball over to Gordon at third base, makes the play, throws the first for the out, 1 away. It's Bobby Adams, and he hits one directly to Mize, who uh, flips it over to Koslo, covering at the bag, 2 away. Here's Ted Klazuski. There's a ball low. And uh, there's a swing and a miss and a breaking ball for a strike. And it's a ground ball to the right side and through Mize. And that's a 12-game hitting streak now for Klazuski. And here comes Grady Hatton. one nothing game still. And there's a fastball into the buckle for a uh, ball. And then there's a little hit down to Rigney. The shortstop throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And it's Johnny Mize. And uh, he swings and misses to that one. 0-1 oh, the count. And uh, there's a ball, 1-1. One one. That's up high. 2-1 and one the count now. And he swings and misses out in front of that changeup, two and two. There's a little liner over to Adams, the second baseman. He goes down to his knees but grabs that one, and here comes Bobby Thompson. He fouls one off. Thompson, only two home runs so far, and not really having the best of time here at the beginning of the season, which is why he's hitting seventh. And there is a, a ground ball over to Stalkup, who goes to his knees to grab it, but can't quite get it out of his glove. And they're going to give Thompson the base hit on that one. That'll bring up Jack Lork with a runner on first base, one out here, bottom of the fourth. And there's a little hit and run ground ball that goes past Stalkup through the uh, um, left side of the infield. Thompson goes all the way to third. Stalkup, I think, was in the wrong place because he had to cover at the bag uh, with uh, Thompson bearing down on him. That uh, hit and run worked to perfection. And here comes Dave Coslo. And the question is, do you do a suicide or what do you do? So we are going to bunt. Let's try a suicide squeeze because we're in, we're on YouTube. And here comes the suicide squeeze, and it's uh, fouled away and out of play. We're going to hit and run here. There's a swing and a miss, and we are not going to try for home on that. We're not that crazy. And Lork gets the stolen base, and there are two strikes now on Costello. Oh, and two, the count on him. And boy, that one just missed. It's one and two now. And there's a little pop up and a catch out there by uh, Howell, the uh, catcher, for the second out. That'll bring up Willard Marshall. And pardon me, please, for a sec. All right, sorry about that. We are back here, and uh, we still have Willard Marshall up there. With uh, He's actually up here now with runners on second and third, and he takes a strike, 0-1 the count. And there's one foul back. It's 0-2. There's a fastball over strike three. Man Raffensberger getting himself out of a jam. We go to the top of the fifth, and here's Johnny Wierostek for the Reds. He takes one low, 1-0 the count. There's one foul back. It's 1-1. And there's a little chopper, and that is an infield hit as neither Costello nor Gordon could grab that one, and that's a little hit to the uh, left side. Gordon, not a great fielder, and I think that really ate him up that time. And here is uh, Dixie Howell. He takes a strike. It's 0-1. And And, uh, there's a little pop-up, and that's out of play. 0-2 now the count on Howell. And uh, there's a fastball high. 1-2 the count now. There's a little pop-up that's out of play. 1-2 still. And there's a little drive to the gap, and that's going to be a base hit. Wurst goes to third base. And now we have a decision to make. Um, do we bring the infield in? I think we do on the corners here for Virgil Stalkup. And he fouls one behind first. And uh, here is the ground ball over to Lork, the second baseman. Go for one or go for two. I think we're going to throw home. Let's see what happens. And he is safe, and the ball game's tied up. And uh, then there's still nobody out. Runners on a first and second. Raffensberger bunts one foul. There's one bunted to the mound, and uh, Koslo can only go to first with that one, and there is one away now for Litweiler, and we're going to bring the infield in here. There's a little high pop-up and out of play. Oh, and one the count now on Danny. One and one is that one was inside. There's another little pop-up, and Cooper, uh, Walter Cooper goes back and makes the catch near the fence. That means there's two away here for Hank Sauer, and uh, he fouls one back. Oh, and one the count on him, and uh, there's another foul ball. It's oh, and two. 
And uh, there's a little fly ball over to uh, Thompson in center field. And uh, we go over to the bottom of the fifth inning. And uh, this will bring up Sid Gordon for the Giants. One to one ball game now. And boy, Gordon hits one deep and <laughs> deep to left field and gone. And just like that, the Giants have the lead again, two to one. It'll bring up Bill Rigney, and he uh, hits a little uh, ground ball over to Hatton, who makes a great play on that one, grabbing that ball in the middle of the air and um, throwing it in one motion over to first base for the out. And so there's one away here in the uh, bottom of the fifth inning. Very, very good play there by Hatton. Uh, but the Giants, you know, this is the way, as I've been saying before, this is the way that they've been uh, playing um, all season. They, uh, As soon as uh, something happens, if the game's tied or they look like they're going to get behind or something like that, they come up with something like a big home run and they have the lead again. Walker Cooper hits a little ground ball over to Stalkup, who, or I'm sorry, to Hatton, who throws the first for the out two away. And there's Whitey Lockman takes the ball, pops one over to the right side. That's foul. One and one the count now. There's a one hopper over to Hatton, and he drops that one. That's going to be an error on the third baseman. So sad after the kind of game he's had so far. Johnny Mize now, and uh, Rappensberger misses high. Want to know the count. And he fouls one off. It's one of one. And uh, the count remains one of one as uh, the pitch comes in. That one's up high. Two and one the count now. The change up at the belt for a strike is two and two. And uh, there's one line to left field. And Sauer cannot get there. And that's going to be a base hit for Mize. Sends Lockman to third. And here comes Bobby Thompson. Runners on at first and third with uh, two out. There's a ball down and in to Thompson. And another one low. Two and no the count. And uh, there is one hit over to the right side, and that's to Kluzewski, who has it and then drops it, and that will score the run and put runners on at first and second now here in the bottom of the fifth, and it's Jack Lorg. And uh, there's a ball off speed and out of the strike zone, and then he hits one over to the right side in the right field for a base hit. And um, I think that we're going to play it safe here uh, with uh, Mize, the slow runner. That'll bring up the uh, pitcher, Dave Koslo, who's hitting 313 this season. He takes a ball over two today. And he swings and misses at that one. It's one and one the count now. And there's one fouled off, one and two. And uh, that one uh, misses, two and two the count. And there's one high. And it's a full count on him. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to the left side. Raffensberger makes a good play on that one. Throws over to first base for the out. We go to the top of the six. It's now three to one Giants. Bobby Adams up there takes a ball. And there's one low and inside for a ball. Two and no the count. There's a strike. It's two and one. And there's ball three. Uh, three and one the count now on Adams. And there's one that's fouled off. It's a full count. And there's one that swung on a miss for strike three, and there's one away. Here's Ted Kluzewski, who fouls one off. Oh, and one the count. And there's a high strike. Oh, and two now the count. There's a ball. It's one and two. There's a ground ball over to Lorick at second base. Throws the first for the out two away, and here's Grady Hatton. And he hits a ground ball over to Mize at first, who does it himself. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and here's Willard Marshall again. And there's a strike called on him. Oh, and one the count. There's one hit deep to left field for a home or for a double. I'm sorry. It was deep, and it's a fair ball landing near the chalk. I misread that one. That's a double there for Marshall leading off, and here comes Sid Gordon. Gordon, who homered last time, he fouls one back, 0-1 the count, and he swings and misses at that one. It's 0-2, and there's one driven deep to right field. It's deep enough to advance Marshall the third as Lil Weiler makes the catch, and there's one away. Bill Rigney now with a runner on third base, and there's a strike in there to Rigney. There's a little roller over to the shortstop. Stalkup will have Marshall try to score, and he throws home. And Marshall's thrown out of the plate. Why can't we do that? Here's Walker Cooper now. Takes a ball. Oh, and one and oh the count. And he hits one to left field. Hank Sauer there to make the catch. We go to the top of the second. And it's Johnny Wirostek for Cincinnati. Takes a ball inside. And there's a strike. One and one the count. And it's two and one as that one was inside. There's another one inside. Three and one the count. And uh, that one was a little bit tight. And that's a walk by Dave Costello. The first walk he's given up today. Um, up next is uh, Hal, who lines one over to Rigney, the shortstop. He catches it for the out, one away. Here comes Stalkup. He takes a, a ball high and uh, hits a foul ball out of play, one and one the count. And there's one hit over to the left side, and that's just foul. One and two the count now on Stalkup. There's a foul ball, one and two the count remains. That one's high, it's two and two. And there's a little bouncing ball back to Coslow, and he throws over to uh, Lork at second for one, back to first, and Mize digs that one out of the dirt for the double play. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, fast-moving ball game, and here's Whitey Lockman, and he takes the ball high, 1-0 the count. And there's ball two on him, it's 2-0. and oh. That's a fastball off the plate, the count 3-0 and oh now on Whitey. And there's a little bouncer over to Stalkup at short, and he handles it, throws the first for the out, one away. Johnny Mize now takes a changeup uh, for a strike and uh, fouls one back, it's 0-2. Oh there's a fastball high, one and two the count, and that one is fouled away. One and two the count remains. There's a ground ball over to Hatton at third base, throws over to first for the out, two away, and here's Bobby Thompson. And uh, there's a uh, ball inside on him, and another one high, two and no the count. 
And there's a base hit to center field, hit number 11 for the Giants, and that'll bring up Lork and Thompson, two for four today. Lork, meanwhile, is three for three, hitting fairly well. And uh, Thompson's not going anywhere. Don't worry about that. And there's a curve outside to Lork, one and know the count. There's a little ground ball over to Hatton, and he makes the play. Throws over to second baseman Adams for the out. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Dave Kostel up there now against Ray Mueller, who's going to be the uh, pinch hitter for uh, Raffensberger, and he has an 0 and 2 count on him just like that. And he hits one back through the middle for a base hit. And here comes Danny Litweiler again, who takes a ball and fouls one off, 1 and 1 the count. And uh, another foul ball. It's 1 and 2 now on Litweiler, and there's the uh, ball outside, 2 and 2 the count. And he swings and misses that pitch in the dirt, and there's a strikeout, 1 away, and here comes Hank Sauer. Sauer fouls one back. It's 0-1 on Hank. And there's a little fly ball over to center field. Thompson has it for the out two away. And here comes Bobby Adams. And there's a little ground ball over to Rigney. Flips over to Lork for the fielder's choice. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. And here comes Dave Costello again. And he gets an ovation for his good performance and takes a strike. And the ball, 1-1 and one the count now on him. And uh, there's one inside for balls, 2-1. And, one. and uh, there's a strike, 2-2 two and two now on him. And there's strike three called as Buddy Lively comes into this and uh, promptly throws a strikeout. Up next, Willard Marshall takes a ball, and there's a strike. One and one the count now on Willard, and uh, he pulls one foul. It's one and two, and he hits one deep to right field, but not quite deep enough. Here comes Sid Gordon now, two outs, bottom of the eighth, and he uh, takes a ball and then looks at a strike. It's one and one, and there's a ball two on him, two and one the count now, and there's one inside for ball three, three and one on Gordon now, and that's high and outside for ball four, and that'll bring up Brigney with a runner on at first base. Giants have had runners on base all over the place today. Two and oh now the count on uh, Rigney. And that one's fouled straight back. It's 2-1 and one now on him. And that's low and off the play. 3-1 and one the count now. And that's on the inside corner for a strike. Full count now on Rigney. And he fouls one back. Count remains full. And that's off the plate. And that's another walk by Lively. His eighth given up of the season. Second of the ball game. Here comes Walker Cooper with two on. And there's a ball to him. 1-0 oh the count. And there's a strike on the outside corner. 1-1 one and one now. And there's one popped up and out of play. 1-2 and two now the count on Cooper. There's a little bouncer over to Hatton, the third baseman. He makes the play, throws to first for the out, and we go to the top of the ninth, and here is Ted Klazuski. And he fouls one off over to the right side. Marshall has it for the out, one away, and here is Grady Hatton. He swings and misses at that one for a strike, and he hits one deep to center field, and Thompson goes back and grabs that one, and that is the wrong place to hit it, 483 feet out to center. Johnny Rurostek now with two outs, and he hits a foul ball to the left side. Oh, and one the count, and there's a ball on him, one and one. And two and one is called Slow Misses. And there's a strike on him. Two and two the count now. And that one's fouled back. It remains two and two on Rurostek. And he hits a little ground ball over to uh, Gordon at third base. And he makes the play, throws over to first for the out. And there's your ball game. Dave Costello, 105 pitches, 77 for strikes. And that was a pretty masterful performance. The Giants win this one three to one. And the Giants are still in this thing. Don't count them out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.